Uh, hello, I am senior PE major at Ethan May. Uh, I am currently in the, the winter lodge of Mr. Gus Bucklesby here in Aspen, Colorado. Uh, we know much about the, the, the man uh, that is Gus Bucklesby, the great interviewer himself, but we don't, we don't know much behind him. Uh, he, he remains to be a little bit of a, of a mystery man. And so I'm here, luckily, I'm able to interview the interviewer. So happy to be here. Uh, Gus, how are you today? I'm I'm doing very well, uh, Ethan. Thank you for asking. How how are you doing today? I'm I'm doing very well. Thank you so much. How was your break? Oh, uh, I I don't I don't take breaks. And then why, how are we in in your in your winter lodge? What what are we doing here? Yes, I'm here on vacation. Okay, so, okay, so you're on vacation, but you you don't y take yes, breaks. Yes, no, I I don't I don't take breaks, Ethan. I I just said that. Okay. Um. That makes a lot of sense. Um, well, I, I was able to uh, go to Kansas City to see some friends over New Year's, and, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, but, but what about you, Gus? Were you able to do any, any fun things while we were all gone, while campus was empty? Uh, yes. <clears throat> yes, I did, I did many, many very, very fun things over break. It was, it, was a, it was a dang good time to quote <laughs> senior PE major Ethan May. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I did many things. Um, I was able to travel to North Korea with Mr. Dennis Rodman, or, or my man Den Den, as I call him. Uh, that, was, that, was, uh, that was a wonderful time. Uh, I was going to travel to uh, Mount Doom with my friend Frodo to destroy a ring, but due to scheduling uh, difficulties, he ended up taking his friend Samwise instead, which, which you know, was sad, but you know, I understand. I also was able to train a little bit for the to the Sochi Olympics. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I was with my fellow Jamaicans, and we actually qualified for the Jamaican bobsled, but unfortunately, we didn't get enough funding for the government. So, uh, you know, the the Swiss were all Einstein, Jein, and I was all like, I speak English. And a uh, quick question, Gus isn't isn't that the same plot line as as the movie Cool Runnings? Or I bought some new shoes. All I have to say about that part, um, that was a good time. Um, I was in Washington, D.C. I, I, I thought I met the president, but it turned out just to be a man named Keith. But uh, Keith and I went to McDonald's together, and that was, that was a wonderful time. Made a new friend, Keith. Uh, he keeps calling me and asking for money, though, so I think Keith might be homeless, but that's just a shot in the dark there. Um, I went to a mustache convention, uh, which I was promptly kicked out of because I don't have a real mustache, but just a mustache mug. Felt that to be a rather unfair uh, experience, but but overall, yes, it, it was a good break. So thank you, thank you for asking. Wow, Gus, man, that that sounds like a sounds like a wonderful break. Wonderful, yes, wonderful, y yes, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, I I just. <clears throat> Wonderful is my. Oh, okay, that's that's your phrase, I guess. Um, how about that? Sounds like a like a fabulous break. Yes, no, fabulous. That's a good one. Yes, fabulous, fabulous. Yes, fabulous. That's very good. Fabu, fabulous, fabugus, fabugus, fabugus. Bucklesby. <laughs> yes, I like the sound of that. Yes, well done. You're good with words, Ethan. I. I, I I wonder why you're not a communications major. You're instead you're you're a PE major. That's that's downright silly. Ch tell me why did you choose the easiest major on campus? Well, I love kids. So yes. Oh uh, no. Uh, nothing against PE majors, but I do have a question. Do you all have a class that is just for twirling your whistle around your finger? Cause I mean that's all PE majors do, really, right? Yes. Up top. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's funny. Here, <laughs> man, you are funny, Gus. Okay. Um, I think that's I think that's all we have for today. Um, so it was a really good interview. We just have a few announcements uh, to close uh, this Friday. Uh, men, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Friday. Friday. Uh, men's and women's basketball will be playing women at five thirty and men at seven thirty against. York College, and then again they'll be playing Saturday, women at 3 and men at 5, and it'll be versus Central Christian College. And we're very excited, everyone got for those games, it'll be a dang good time. You.
Anyway, Saturday we'll be having Trivia Night. Trivia Night is an excellent time for you to uh, show how intelligent you are and make others who are less intelligent feel ridiculous. So you can show up to that. That will be at, that'll be at 7, 7.30 at, 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 at 5, 5, it'll be at, min, at midnight. No, not midnight. Ridiculous. It's